Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And today, guys, I got this unique truck for you. This one is available and on the market right now. It's our brand new 2022 Freightliner M2 106. This one is a Summit Hauler conversion. And of course, as you guys could see, it is exterior brown and interior tan. So when you go inside, you'll see how unique this truck is in terms of design. But again, just like all of our Freightliners, all of our Summit Haulers, the new design with the flatbed. And as we go around this truck, I'll point out some of the things you can and cannot do with this particular unit. So let's start off on our brand new tires on here. What you guys are looking at is our Michelin's 255 80R22.5s. And on all of our Summit Haulers, guys, we do put auto balancers in here. It will be on our front and rear um, tires. Again, looking underneath the hood here, we have easy access to our negative and positive studs. If in case you need to jump start somebody or if you need to, uh, the vehicle needs to be jump start as well, easy access there because those batteries are located underneath the back passenger seat. So I'll point that out to you as we go around this truck. So let's move up front. Again, the new design comes with new headlights, and those are all LEDs. We do have the Summit Hauler grill, designed by the C9 company. You do have that chrome bumper with that brown added piece on the bottom. Tow hooks, and of course, you do have that freight, freight liner badge. On either sides of this hood, we got tie downs or strap downs to keep the hood in place. Right now, I, it's, they're both undo, so right now I'm, I'm very, it's very easy for me to just pull onto or to open this hood. So we got a nice little handle in the center of this hood. Makes it easy for you, your wife or kids or your husband to be able to open this up. Check this out, boys and girls. What you guys are looking at is a Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV automatic transmission. This unit produces 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. As you guys can see, everything in here is clearly labeled for all those brand new to get in into those trucks. Once you open up this hood, you will see everything pretty much clearly labeled and color coordinated. So right here, you could see our fuel filter and water separator unit right here. Power steering fluid, radiator fluid, and so on and so forth. We got a few fuse boxes in here. Again, those are clearly labeled. We got some un underneath the stern wheel and of course the back seat. Very easy to close. A nice little push. And again, it has this soft close here. So if in case you are working in there and a strong wind comes, you will, you will have enough time to get out of there before injuring yourself. So if a little push, you'll be able to close it all the way. And of course, those strap downs I was telling you about on either side. I'm just gonna strap those down. This one does come with dual horns, air horn, and it also comes with the regular horn in the center of the steering wheel. This one also comes equipped pre-wired for the a CB radio antenna, um, a CB radio. So this is a CB radio antenna right here. On the freight liners, again, I try to mention it most times I'm doing those videos, but this one does have a breakaway mirror. So if in case you're driving in a tight spot, you end up hitting a, a branch, a tree, whatever the case may be. This, this whole thing will just close on you and not break. So you could come out and just put it back in place very easy. So again, you might get some scratches or dents on the mirror, but again, instead of replacing the whole mirror, this acts like a support. So if in case you do hit something, that is very easy, so you don't have to replace the whole mirror. Again, the new step design, and you guys have seen that in the previous 2022s we've, we've put online. This one does come in for engine block heater, located right underneath the driver door. A lockable gas area, so on both sides, we got a 50 gallon on each side. 
So we got a total of 100 gallons of diesel on this truck. And of course, with the way the price of diesel is now, it's better to lock up your diesel when you're not using the truck or if you park in strange areas. So this is lockable, like I said. You do have a six gallon tank of DEF and you do have a 50 gallon on this side and 50 gallons on the other side. So all you guys gotta do is close that, clip it, and then they will have a key where you could lock this up. We added a few more lights here. So you got about seven lights over here. You got another three, four, five. So you have almost 14 lights over here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 lights on this side here. And at night, when those lights come on, everybody will see you coming. Storage is pretty amazing. Nice and wide. And that's the same design on the other side. We do have the air gauge or the air supply on the other storage box. Right here, we got a nice little storage box here again. As we come around, we have the new design flatbed and you guys have seen it on different conversions. We did it on ours and this one is fully diamond plated. Right now you see there's no hitch on this unit, but again, we give you the option, whoever decide to buy this unit, we have the option of the Hensley Trailer Saver Hitch fifth wheel that could convert into a gooseneck ball with the attachment. Uh, or you could do straight gooseneck ball on the bed. So whatever you guys decide, we will do before delivery. So everything is pre-ready or pre-drilled for whichever hitch you decide to put on here. So once you hook up to your, if your trailer, you do have a seven pin hookup right here. And of course, we have our Voyager camera system, mill input. If you have a trailer that has that same Voyager camera system set up, or you could actually install one, it will send the feed straight into the Voyager camera screen inside the truck. And I'll show you guys what I look like. But this one does come equipped with a rear camera, so you guys can see that right above the header rack, right dead center. So with this camera, we have a wide view of the area, of the back area of the truck. And one thing else you could do with this particular unit, if you want more storage, we do have a storage box from our conversion company. We could order, ship directly to you, or if you decide to wait on it, it could be shipped here. But it's very easy to put together. There's two little holes on the back end of the truck. All you guys gotta do, all the parts and everything will be on there. All you guys gotta do is screw that storage box into that headache rack. Again, this one does come pre-hook pre up with uh, the glide hands for your air trailer. So if you guys decide to put, or to, or to, to tow a air trailer, a trailer with air brakes, we do have the glide hands pre-wired inside here. So what we've done so far with our previous units and people needing those glide hands installed, we would put them directly right here on the truck or depending on where you want it, uh, we could look for a few more options if you want it closer to the hitch. But having it right here makes it stands out and pretty much keep it out of the way. So we have different options here as well. We do have a bumper hitch here, so if you want to pull your regular trailer, a bumper pull, what, whatsoever, you have that hitch down here. And we do have adjustable ball, uh, bumper pull balls for your trailer at our parts department. Coming over here, storage, more storage here, and of course, the other storage over here. The airline hookup is directly in here. So if you guys decide to put in your trailer, you have that option as well. This is the other tank I was mentioning. You had a 50 gallon tank again, and this side is also lockable as well.
All right, so checking out the interior, I'm gonna jump on the other side for now. Just look at the doors right now. We have the exterior, the, the speakers on the door. This one is Kenwood. And of course the Summit Holler logo. And on the interior, we have that two-tone seats. So it's both, it's like a darker tan and a lighter tan, if you wanna call it that. Um, very comfortable, very unique. And of course we got our Summit Hall <laughs> Summit Hauler logo on the back end of the seat. And for charging, I know our kids nowadays are all into iPads, iPhones, Android, whatever the case may be. And while driving, they want to entertain themselves and of course charge the units at the same time. So you have access to four USB plugs, two 110. Again, this is just a child safety. But you have an inverter in here, so you, you're allowed to have two 110 plugins. And of course, on either side, you got two 12 volt plugins as well. Nicely placed dead center, so wires could go directly over here. And of course, your kids or family will be entertained even with power. Looking above here, we got a nice little head design with two reading lights on either side on the front end, switches in the middle. And of course, once we go inside, I'll show you when I turn on those switches, how nice that inside light looks like. It does come with rare AC vents. So we have two of them in the back end. And of course it is adjustable as needed. And of course the switches are in front and I'll point that out to you as we go on. The, the front seats that have pockets in them so you can put your personal items in here. You know, some rags, wires, your chargers, your iPads when you're not using it. And of course I've seen nowadays they have iPad stands that would go directly into the headrest and hang down. Of course you could just put your iPad on here if needed. So there's so many different options out here. If you're looking for that, you got that option here. This bed, this bench does turn into a bed, so the switch is right here. It will go all the way flat if needed, and of course adjustable as you go, go on. So I'll jump inside. My cameraman will jump inside. Now I'll show you guys what the front end looks like. So I did mention those in our previous videos, all, all our front seats are air ride. So this front seat will be air ride. And something I haven't mentioned much in my videos, the handles for both driver and passenger is amazing. So you have this option here. It is adjustable. There is a, a little lever in, underneath here, which makes it adjustable as needed. So it's a little roller, so while you roll it, either goes up or down. So it all depends on how you want your hand on this as well. So the back is adjustable as well, so it goes all the way back if you need to relax while driving. While the, while the driver is driving, the passenger can actually tilt this back and kind of relax as well. And again, that's where this adjustment comes in also. So if you don't want this all the way up, you can wheel this down and this is the lowest it could go. So you, could, you guys could see the difference in the handle. And when I bring this back to normal, you guys could see the adjustment is off. So you could also roll this back and adjust it as needed. This one does come with heated seats, same as a driver. I'm just gonna turn this on. So right away, you will see the Stinger sound system load up. So we got the new design screen. This one does come equipped with Apple and Android capability. Also, it has Apple, sorry, it has FM, AM, and satellite radio. This come equipped with the Kenwood sound system and subwoofer underneath the seat. Again, volume controls up here. And now you could go into home, see all the different options here. And of course, as you go by, you guys could see, you know, your radio, it does have Bluetooth technology, so you could connect your phone via Bluetooth. 
and of course Apple and their capability Apple it does have auxiliary it does have a HDMI setup it does come with navigation so if you guys need navigation on your trip this one does come equipped with that as we go underneath there we do have cruise control set up over here this switch is to turn it on and of course you got to set down and then of course accelerate as needed a marker light it does have your power windows it does come with a red differential lock power locks this is your rear AC controls so if you put it to blue this is your AC and the red is your heat center is off and this is your fan levels you got high medium and low does come with an additional four USB plugins here for charging only a red dump for your rest suspension if you want to lower the truck to back into your trailer it does come with a heated mirror cargo light switch this is your main air parking brake and of course your trailer air brake down here for your main cab AC controls it's all the way down here you got a little knob here for your subwoofer also you got a USB switch here this one will allow you or allow this to connect to your stinger sound system via USB and it will uh, activate your Apple or Android capability and send all the information to the screen it also has a, U, a HDMI cable input so if you want to connect a little DVD player to it or you know play your game or whatever the case may be you have that option here the new trailer brake system this one is the Red Arc trailer brake system and of course the gain is from 1 to 0 to 10 so however you want to tune your gain this is very easy over here you have your engine brake switch high and low so the top is high center is off down is low and of course you have your light test button if you're alone traveling or if you with your family you just want to make sure all your lights work instead of having somebody sit down in the front seat and you shout left signal right signal brake all that stuff you turn that switch on all your lights will blink at the same time except your cargo light uh, so if you need your cargo light on all you need to do is just switch that on put the light test button as well and then all your lights will be blinking and then it, you will see if any of your lights are burned out either on the truck or on the trailer all those lights will be blinking at the same time so give it a few seconds it will actually do a countdown once that countdown is done it will just start blinking all your lights once you're done with that you got to come in and switch it off so the, the, the vehicle will get back to normal you will see the change in the dash once uh, you, you turn that light test button on this vehicle only comes with 643 miles again there was road testing on that truck and all that and delivery here to our location so only 643 miles on this unit it does come with two air compressors because this truck is fully air so you have air brakes you got the air seats you got the air suspension you got the air cab all that is running on those two air compressors on there so you have your gauges here for your air compressors you got your fuel tank uh, gauge up here right below that you have your def fluid levels as well so everything is clearly labeled over here so very easy to maneuver and as we look above that you do have that camera the Voyager camera system look at that clear view the wide view I was telling you guys about even with a trailer hook up to this truck you could also see the sides of that truck and trailer so you might not even need those indicator lights plus you have those awesome huge mirrors to look through for blind spots and everything so this truck does come equipped with ev mostly everything and again the safety feature with that white windshield tons of mirrors and of course you have that Voyager camera system so if you are interested in this unit guys it is available like we said the, the next five units coming in are already sold so this one is the only one available as of now 
we've we did have a few calls already so first come first serve so at the end of the day you guys can give me a call to make sure it's available at 303-684-3412 or you could text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344 or you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com again guys this is our only available right now 2022 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion right here at Transwest in Frederick, Colorado. If you guys are flying in, we are, we're able to pick you guys from the airport, come straight here, test drive, paperwork, and home. It's that simple. So again, prices are online. I kind of mentioned prices on this video. So you could go onto our Transwest truck trailer RV website, so transwest.com. I will put that stock number below the screen type in that stock number we also have a link as well in the bio you know on the bottom of the screen you could click on that it will show you pictures and of course price will be on there as well so if you guys are interested please give me a call today and we'll either you you come pick it up or we deliver it to you cost varies depending on state and how far we have to go again price prices are a little bit different now cost of living is going up so a little th things are a little bit different from buying a truck two three years ago so keep that in mind when you want delivery but we can we can get it done for you guys so in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in this is an awesome truck we got another one that got delivered today that sold hopefully we could get a video done on it before the customer pick it up but in the meantime thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time